Hello everyone and welcome back to the series where I expose you. On last week's episode of the series, I read your embarrassing stories and this week I'm going to be reading some of your guys' confessions. Now I'm a little bit scared because these are people's deepest, darkest secrets and they've confessed them to me. So if this sounds interesting and you want to see more videos like this, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I'm going to try to post videos like this pretty often reading your guys' secrets and confessions and embarrassing stories and all sorts of stuff. The links to the Google form that you can fill out to be a part of this video will be down below. Alright, let's pull this up. Okay, we're going to start with the more like chill ones in this episode and the more episodes we do, we'll read the longer crazy stories. First confession we have is, I hate cats. First of all, what kind of confession is that? It's ridiculous, it's stupid, and I always see TikToks about people that are like, oh, you don't like cats? Why? Because they don't do everything you tell them because they're their own individuals, or you don't treat them well enough and you actually have to earn their trust. Cats are amazing, they're one of the best animals, they're the best pets ever, and if you don't like cats, then I don't like you. There we go. Um, I want to be a teen mom. I mean, I would not suggest, but I guess it's your life, you know? Um, lately, I've been thinking a lot about how life is just so short, and you just gotta do what you want. So, I mean, sure. <laughs> I don't actually like any of my friends. Okay, if you don't like your friends, don't be their friend, because it's not fair to you, it's not fair to them. You need to go find friends you actually like. It might mean you have to be alone for a while, but that's way better than just not liking any of your friends and constantly being miserable hanging out with them. So, if you don't like your friends, just slowly stop hanging out with them and find new friends. I'm scared of what people think of me. I feel like everyone kind of feels this a little bit deep down, but I, TikTok is just, you know, changing my life. I saw a TikTok that was like, don't be scared of if you're going to like someone when you're meeting them. You should be thinking... Am I gonna like them? Like kind of like switching that mindset. Like you're going to, like let's say you're going to an event and you're like, oh, I wonder if they're gonna like me. I'm scared of what they think of me. Instead be like, I wonder if I'm gonna like them. I wonder what I'm gonna think about them. Because you are yourself and you're always stuck with yourself. You don't have to be stuck with other people. So you gotta learn to enjoy yourself and not care what other people think. And you should be worried about what you think of other people. But I relate. I'm in love with a guy who cheated on me. Any tips? First of all, I am so sorry that you are in that situation. I'm sorry that has happened to you. It's not worth being with someone who cheated on you because obviously they don't care enough about you and love you enough to be loyal to you and you deserve someone way better. You can fall in love multiple times in your life, so the quicker you can get them out of your life and get out of that situation, the better. Because everyone deserves someone who's going to treat them like the most special person on the planet. Oh my gosh. I'm hooking up with a 37 year old man. I'm 19 by the way, but he's hot. I mean, you do you, your legal age, you can do whatever you want. It's just so weird. Like, I know people's parents who are that age. That is so weird, but hey. So I guess you do you, thanks for the confession. My ex cheated on me, so I sold his PlayStation that I bought him. Okay, I feel like this is actually pretty valid. I mean, he cheated on you, and you bought him that. So, I mean, it's his fault he shouldn't have cheated on you. It's not like it was just his. I mean, you bought it for him, so. Fair enough. The night I had my first kiss, I also kissed three other people. I guess you just really liked it. You got your first one, you're like, man, that was nice. I'm going to keep going. I mean, fair enough. Like I said, life is short. You got to do what you want. So, congrats, I think. I've liked a dude for about five years and I just told him yesterday. Okay, we cannot be left hanging like this. We need more information. What happened? What did he say? Why is this paragraph so short when it should have been a, it should have been a hefty paragraph telling us what happened. Um, I hope it went well and good luck. I still can't slash don't use tampons and I'm almost 21 and I don't think I want to use them. And that is totally fine. You don't have to use them. I feel like ever since I posted that one thing talking about how I couldn't use a tampon until 17, I've gotten so many people that like relate, so I'm glad I like put that information out there. But that's totally fine. You don't have to use them. I find them way more convenient, especially for like summer when you're swimming and stuff. But you don't have to. It's totally up to you. I'm talking to a guy, but I'm not really sure if I like him. I feel like I'm leading him on. 
Okay, I, in high school, I used to do this all the time because I'd get bored and so then I'd start talking to guys, but I, I was like, I don't even know if I actually like them, I'm just bored. So ask yourself that. Are you bored or do you like it? Because it's not worth hurting someone else's feelings just to entertain yourself. I learned that the hard way, so just end it if you don't actually like him. And then like, if you don't actually like him and then you end up actually dating, then it's just going to get harder and harder, so like, don't put yourself in that situation. I feel like I'm a very mean person, and no matter how hard I try to be nice, I don't succeed. Okay, see, sometimes I feel like this is me, like, a little bit. I think overall I'm a nice person, but sometimes I feel like I'm just mean and can't stop being mean, and I'm like, what am I doing? Stop. This is not okay. So I kind of understand where you're coming from, but you also might be reading yourself wrong, so maybe ask your friends or something if they think you're mean. Just try your best. That's all we can really ask. <laughs> I've been dating my best friend's ex, despite telling her nothing would ever happen between us. Yeah, this, this needs to stop. First of all, if you really loved your best friend, you wouldn't be dating her ex. If you liked her ex, the one you're dating, more than her, then you need to tell her. Because you can't have both, you need to choose. And this isn't fair to anyone in this situation, and you're gonna hurt your best friend's feelings more than you will ever know. So you need to tell her, or him, like right now. And you might not be best friends anymore, but that's okay because it's your mistake. I just feel like you need to be honest. My brother had his friends stay over and snuck into my room in the middle of the night to hang out. <laughs> that is so funny. I feel like this definitely was stuff that went on when I was a kid because like my brothers always had friends spending the night and I always had friends spending the night and we're all very similar in age so I wouldn't even be surprised. But that is so funny. I feel like that's a very, I honestly I feel like that's a common thing if you're close in age to one of your siblings and then they have friends spend the night but that's just funny thank you for the confession i feel like most confessions end up being around like best friends boyfriends cheating situations i feel like those are everyone's like deepest secrets so i kind of like reading these i met a guy who was my best friend's boyfriend's brother okay hold on so your best friend's boyfriend's brother okay got it and we became friends with benefits and now we're in love. Hey, fair enough. Wait, isn't this good news? Because if you and your best friend marry brothers, then that makes you sister-in-laws. I see no issue. I think this is a good thing. I think we're all rooting for you. Oof, okay. I secretly want to break up with my boyfriend of almost two years. But when we hang out, I feel like we shouldn't break up. I've actually seen a couple like this, and that is a difficult situation, but I feel like if you're always thinking about wanting to be single or break up with him, then you should, because it's not fair to the other person to not be 100%. Like, I feel like you both need to be 100%. Even if when you hang out, it's all good. If you're constantly thinking about not being together, then maybe don't be together. And maybe this is something you should just talk to your boyfriend about, and you guys can talk through it together and feel it's Figure out where like the root of the problems are, like is the relationship too controlling, do you not have enough freedom, do you not have enough time to yourself, or like, or do you actually just not like the person? So definitely get to the root of the problem. Oh, this makes me sad. My friends think I've never had a boyfriend, but I've been hiding him from them for over a year in fear of what they'll think. I think you should just tell them, and if they're your real friends, then like, you don't have anything to worry about. I feel like if you're worried about your friends judging you so hard on something that you have to keep it a secret for a year, then they're not real friends because your friends should always be supporting you and hyping you up and stuff like that, you know? Oh my gosh, I lost my wedding band three years ago and I bought a cheap lookalike off the internet and my husband still doesn't know to this day. That's pretty impressive. I mean, honestly, like, go you. Um, I feel like you should tell him eventually, but hopefully he'll just laugh about it. That's so funny that you took the effort though to like buy one that looks like it and that you've been getting away with it. Like, that's OP. Oh, <laughs> I found out this guy had a crush on me and immediately blocked him on everything. I don't know why I did it and I legit still feel bad about it to this day, oh well. That is so funny. I mean, poor kid, you didn't even get to shoot a shot yet. But at the same time, I guess you just really didn't like him and it, it'd be better to just block him than to deal with it. I don't know, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. After three months of talking, my boyfriend asked me out. Two or three days after that, I was snooping through Facebook and found out that he's my fourth cousin, my blood relative. I don't really know what to think about this. I mean, fourth cousin is like kind of far. Like, I don't know, Wait, when's the cutoff line that it's not allowed? Is it like third cousin? Is it fourth? Is it fifth cousin? I don't know. That's a weird situation to be in. That's so awkward. And the fact that you didn't know you were related, like, yeah, I don't know what to do. Um, I got no advice, but that is very awkward and weird. Does he know? You should tell him if he doesn't know. 
Honestly, most of these situations are just about like having crushes on people or like awkward dating situations or like best friends or cheating and stuff like that. So those were some of the more lighthearted ones because it was the first episode of the series for the confessions. But there are some intense ones and for my next episode, I'm going to go through, read all of these and find some of the best of the best and read those. So this was kind of just like a warm up into what you guys can expect to see in the next confessions video and in the next embarrassing stories video so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed me exposing you guys um if you want to see the next episode then make sure to give this a thumbs up and hit subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye